Hello, everyone. I'm Yu Junhao from Novel Sense. Welcome. You're now watching a presentation about the basics of isolation. In this video, I will discuss the following topics. In the first part, I will explain the definition of electrical isolation. That is, what electrical isolation is, why electrical isolation is needed, and when it is needed. In the second part, I will describe electrical isolation grades. How to classify isolation grades, and the definition of different isolation grades. In the third part, I will share the standards and specifications for isolators. For an isolator to reach certain isolation grade, what parameters are required, and the issuers of certification reports. Here goes the first topic: When two low voltage systems interact. Electrical signals can be freely transmitted between two systems. In this state, we usually assume that the system works safely. However, when high and low voltage systems interact directly, there will be a high potential difference between the two systems. Given this, the high voltage system may transmit destructive electrical signals to the low voltage system. Causing abnormal operating conditions of the low voltage system and even permanent damages. This will affect the functional safety of the system, thereby endangering personal safety and causing major safety accidents. In this case, electrical isolation is required. To implement electrical isolation between high and low voltage systems, an isolator is needed to block destructive electrical signals. While allowing safe electrical signals to interact between the high and low voltage systems, thereby ensuring functional safety of the systems. Well, how can we choose an isolator that well answers our requirements? Next, I will describe the isolation grades of isolators. Here are some typical isolation grades. Functional isolation only enables the isolation necessary for normal operation of the device. But does not provide electric shock protection. For example, PCB materials on the circuit board can achieve this function. For systems involving dangerous high voltage, the following three isolation grades are more typical. Basic isolation provides single stage isolation, and can achieve isolation when the insulation layer is intact. However, once the insulation layer fails, the system will have electric shock risks. Generally, a basic isolator is able to isolate a voltage of about 3 kV, and a few basic isolators can isolate a voltage up to 5 kV. To achieve system redundancy, double isolation provides an additional isolation layer on the basis of basic isolation. Therefore, when a single-stage isolation fails, it can ensure system safety. With this isolation technology in place. The isolation voltage can reach 5 kV and above. Reinforced isolation, as single-stage isolation, achieves the same result as double isolation. Currently, isolators typically adopt basic isolation and reinforced isolation. To achieve the above-mentioned two isolation grades, the properties of an isolator should meet the requirements of the relevant regional specifications and safety standards. Next. I will present the standards and certification of isolators. The International Electrotechnical Commission (IEC) is the world's earliest non-governmental international electrotechnical standardization organization. IEC works with organizations in many regions to formulate international safety standards for electrical and electronic devices. In different regions, different organizations are responsible for developing regional standards. For example, the U.S., Canada, Germany, and China have their local standardization institutions. Only after passing the regional standards can isolators be legally put into commercial marketing, and can electrical and electronic products equipped with the isolator be sold to end users. Typically, on the first page of the data sheet of an isolator, a list of certifications that the isolator have passed is given. It is noted that the reinforced isolation grade for digital isolators was mainly proposed by VDE and promoted as an international standard by IEC. Novosense is the first semiconductor company in China 
that has passed the VDE Reinforced Isolation Certification and a leader in digital isolators in the country. Next, I will give a brief description of the current VDE standards as well as the test standards and parameters of basic and reinforced isolation. In the maximum surge voltage test, both basic and reinforced isolation grades are required to pass 50 bipolar surge impacts. And the final measured voltage shall not exceed 1.3 times the maximum surge voltage given in the data sheet. The reinforced isolation shall pass the surge voltage test of at least 10 kV. When there are defects inside a device, partial discharge will occur. Partial discharge refers to the electrical discharge phenomenon in which only certain parts of the isolation between conductors experience breakdown. Short duration partial discharge does not affect the insulation strength, but on the repeated action of high voltage, the defects will eventually lead to breakdown of the device. Therefore, it is necessary to detect these defects using non-destructive tests. The basic isolation grade is tested using 1.5 times the volume, while the reinforced isolation grade tested using 1.875 times the volume. Based on the operating life of ICs at different temperatures and voltages, the weigh bull distribution function can be used for fit, and the working voltage of a chip during the minimum rated life and target life under certain failure rate can be worked out. And then, according to the requirements of VDE-related coefficients, the worm can be obtained. From the worm data, it can be seen that the reinforced isolators have a longer service life and a lower failure rate throughout their lifetime. These are the VDE certification standards. That's all for my presentation. If you want more information, please visit our official website. Thanks for your time.